So I know we just did a haul. But girl. But girl. We got another one. Cece back with another video. For those of you who don't know, my name is Cece. We talk about productivity, our corporate careers, and just all around how to be a badass woman on this channel. We also love us some beauty products, okay? So if that is something you're interested in, go ahead, click that subscribe button, click the notification bell, all the things, and make sure you join me on this journey, okay? So for today's video, like y'all know, we got a haul and it's a pretty large haul. And I know I just did a haul. So if you missed that one, check it out. The video will be right here. But I got a nice little haul here because I don't know, some things have been coming out. They've just been piquing my interest. Makeup has not really been piquing my interest until recently. And so now it's like, I need to get all the things and I got to rein that back in because we are still trying to be, you know, under our makeup spend that we want to spend for the year. But... That being said, girl, we got a full bag, a full bag of stuff from Sephora. And I purchased this stuff in store and online. And then I have the big bag of stuff from Ulta, again, purchased in store and online. And I have one thing, um, let's put that down. I have one thing that I purchased from Nordstrom that I'm gonna show you guys first. So let's start there. Is she not adorable? Is she not adorable? So this is the long chomp. Is it chomp or champ? Is it, do I sound too, too like get on long champ or is it long chomp? I don't know how you say it, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Okay. So this is the cosmetics, like makeup bag, lapillage, or, you know, I don't even know how to say the whole name. Okay. I'll just put it right here on the screen. So this is a little makeup bag. I actually just purchased one a couple weeks ago. I got it in burgundy, but I thought this color fawn was just so adorable. So I got this color as well. And I think this is going to be really pretty. I think it's pretty for the summer, the winter. I think you can wear this color like all year round. So I love it. And I'm going to be wearing this as a little handbag, not a makeup bag. This it's not that cheap. It's like, not like it is $100, but I just think this is so cute. And for a little like clutch, like I just, I just thought it was really, really cute. You can also get like some hardware from Amazon and actually add you um, a little strap on this. So I did order that. I'm going to try to do it, but I just thought she was so pretty. So I picked that up and very excited to wear this with one of my outfits all right y'all what we want to do sephora or ulta let's do ulta first so it never fails i go in there for one thing end up coming out with more than what i bargained for but i think these are all really cute things okay so the first thing i picked up i definitely wasn't going in there for this this is a sugar waxing kit and it's an at-home sugaring kit for face fuzz and more by the brand sugar dough so this is what it looks like i think this was 30 dollars, and y'all know i shaved my face so i thought this would be a nice break from shaving if it works and just try sugar waxing like this cheek area and this like neck area all right here i thought this would be really good to try so i'm really excited to see if this works i'll definitely do it on camera the first time so we can um see what that looks like but this is a female owned minority owned ethically sourced brand made in the usa so i yeah i saw this i just I, I thought it was interesting so i definitely want to give this a try comes with um six ounce dough is that like the sugar waxing stuff six reusable cloth strips two reusable applicators and an instruction card set it says it's a gentle alternative to waxing that tackles thick hairs with ease and reduces ingrowns they also had this for like the rest of your body so your bikini area your underarms so if it works for the face i might like go get another kit and then try it myself i have never waxed i've tried to wax like under my arms i have an at-home waxing kit that didn't hurt that much when i tried to do that one but it also didn't give the greatest results so if this one works really well i might try waxing at home i've never waxed anything so 
um, especially like my bikini line I'm so afraid to do that so I might try it at home if that one works but I also picked up the Real Techniques. This is the limited edition Chrome Era Infinite Glow Base Brush. It's a flat top multitasking brush for an all over blended finish is what it says. So if you can see that, it's like a really flat top on the inside. Let me see. Ooh. Oh, it's almost like a velvet finish. And I love this feral, um, just like the chrome feral so pretty right so i think this is going to be really nice for foundation y'all know your girl's obsessed with foundation brushes so i'm just going to put that right in my little my little brush um thing over there all right next 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 i picked up the nest this is an indian jasmine a body mist not that i needed another body mist because i didn't but i smelled this and it smells so good so they had four or five of them one was like citrus something and it was way too citrusy one was vanilla and i feel like i have enough vanilla body mist y'all i'm trying to I should have curled this hair. I relaxed my hair last night and I didn't curl it. I just straightened it and left it and I'm probably gonna curl it tonight, but um, like do some heatless curls tonight, but it's just driving me insane because I feel like the bottom, like my ends have no direction when they're laying on my body. Like it just, oh, it's driving me insane. whatever okay so yeah one was citrusy one was vanilla and that smells really good but I have so many vanilla body sprays and I didn't want to buy another one so I smelled the Indian Jasmine and I fell in love it's like a I don't even know how to describe it how do they describe it the keynotes are jasmine absolute red berries pink pepper you can use alone or they want you to layer it with the nest perfume oils because they did come out with new perfume oils i didn't get any of those but i think this is going to be nice to layer with some of my perfumes all right i picked up the new professional um line products from benefit professional is like that long-standing line with benefit y'all know y'all have seen it but they came out with a new mattifying primer and a mattifying powder and so your girl's a sucker for a good powder you know and primer so I picked up the professional matte primer so this is supposed to basically be the same thing as the professional so it helps like tighten up your pores and reduce the look of pores under your makeup but it's also matte because that professional wasn't matte which is why I could never fully get behind it like I loved it and I would mix it with other primers but it wasn't matte for me and y'all know your girl needs matte primers especially in the summertime so that's interesting and then they also have the new professional power powder and this is supposed to it's a matte and blur loose setting powder so it says this silky soft super fine powder 16 hour staying powder blends seamlessly to mattify skin and set makeup and blur pores so it's translucent natural matte finish weightless feel non-comedogenic so that's what that is all about so we're gonna have another get ready with me coming up i did film this makeup look and i filmed it using new makeup from the last haul that i did so we're gonna do another get ready with me using a lot of these products that i'm gonna show you today because i'm really excited to dive into them you guys all right what else did we get we have the um one of the new blushes from l'oreal this is the lumi le liquid blush and um it is in kind of a wand form which i actually really like because i feel like it's going to cut down on like some of the liquid blushes you have like the ones that are in a pot and stuff like that and you gotta dig your brush dig your finger it just creates a mess the wand form i can dip like just dot it on my face and then blend it out from there and i really like that so that's this i got this in the shade mm -hmm. why don't it say it don't say on here oh yes it do I got this in the shade glowy worth it medium 635 so 
I thought, it, look how, like it is very, very pretty. Almost has like that chrome finish. All right, I got one of these Smith's Rosebud Salve Lip Balms, but the only reason I picked this up was because my lips were so dry as I was at the store and I didn't have any lip balm in my bag and I had just kind of picked up and ran to the store, but my I had a couple more errands to run and my lips were so dry and I was like, I can't go another second without something on my lips. So I actually picked up the Rosebud Salve because I needed something to go on my lips, but this is really, really like soothing and moisturizing for your lips. So I actually do really, really like it. All right, I was like online and I saw that they had a new Chanel powder cause I'm so bougie. So I picked up the Chanel, um, Le, girl, Le Beige's Healthy Glow Sheer Powder. I got it in the shade B80. I may have to take this back cause this looks dark to me. I just haven't really tried it. Um, but it looks kind of, maybe not. It looks kind of dark, but then it doesn't. Like this is the shade. I said I got it in B, what did I say? B80? B80. And this is what, it just, I don't know. I don't know. It just feels kind of dark to me, but when I put my finger in it and put it on my face, it doesn't look dark. So I'm going to have to just play with it just a, like one more time I want to just put it on my face with no makeup on or with some foundation on and just see what it looks like and if it's too dark because I'm also going to get lighter as the months you know progress throughout the rest of the year I'm definitely going to get lighter this tan is going to go away and so if it feels a little dark now it's really going to feel a little dark in like three months so um and for the price I paid for that we need to be wearing it so I'm going to have to exchange that or just return it um if I don't like it all right let's go on with Fenty I brought three things from Fenty and you guys can probably guess what they are they came out with some new lip liners and then also some new gloss bomb sticks. And I picked up one lip liner and two gloss bomb sticks. So for the lip liner, it is the um, Fenty Traced Out Pencil Lip Liner in the shade Extra Thigh. And it is just a nice brown lip liner. Not that I needed another brown lip liner because I didn't, but this one isn't like dark brown oh, I should have put it in a place where I can like show you this one's like a that's really creamy too but this one's like a medium kind of neutral brown and that's what I liked about it when I was in the store so I picked that up it's very creamy also by the way um, and then I got two shades of the gloss bomb sticks gloss bomb sticks so I got the shade it's fussy and if you remember fussy is one of the shades um in her lip gloss the gloss bombs so it's fussy and then we got oh smells good it smells kind of fruity and then we got Fenty glow all right so so here they are it's Fussy Fenty Glow. You can see them really well right there. Very, very cute. Yeah. So we love those. All right, let's keep this train rolling and get into Sephora. Like I said, I have a whole bag full of stuff, girl. A bag full of stuff. All right, so first things first, I hate when they put these, like the whole, the big pack of like perfumes in there. I just, I find myself wasting all of these samples, so, but they did it, so I'll go through it later, but they gave me a whole, whole damn thing of samples. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Let's start with the easy stuff. We got a new Touchland hand sanitizer. This is the one in Berry Bliss. So cute, right? I just love these so much, even though they are $10 and so overpriced, but they leave my hands so moisturized. My girls love them. I love them. So we get it. I got another body mist. This is the Fleur Coconut Skin. So I recently hauled the Fleur Vanilla Skin, but they came out with also a coconut skin and a caramel skin. I didn't get the caramel skin because I was looking at the reviews and the caramel skin was like, it's 
like smells like caramel popcorn. I'm like, I don't know if I want to walk around smelling like caramel popcorn, but the coconut skin definitely up my alley and smells so good. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. And I feel like coconut is a great, um, <coughs> oh shit. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Woo. It smells so good. I sprayed it too close to my nose though. Okay, I feel like coconut is a great scent for layering. So if you have other scents that you want to put with this on top of it, whatever, I just feel like coconut's a great scent for layering. Like I feel like I could layer this all also with the vanilla skin. Like and just had a vanilla coconut vibe. Yeah, girl. Something else I got that's a little out of the ordinary for me is the Briogeo Style and Treat Sleek Stick. So I wear my hair out quite a lot now, as you guys probably recognize. So this is the um, just kind of a sleeking, kind of sleeks away flyaways and stuff like that. If you're wearing like a ponytail or a bun or something. So this is what it looks like. Let me, let me see. There we go. So you just kind of push it up. I don't want to put it in my hair because I don't need anything in my hair right now. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like. And then you just like sleek it. I could put a little bit. So it's supposed to. Oh, yeah. So it's supposed to just like sleek it down. So if you have fine edges, it'll probably sleek your edges. These ain't going to sleek my edges, but it'll definitely help to like tame flyaways when I'm doing like ponytails and buns and stuff. So that's why I got that. I also picked up the, this is something different. And I feel like I don't see a lot of people talking about this. And I just happen to be, um, I don't know. I just happen to be browsing the Sephora website like I do sometimes. And I saw this setting spray by Kate Somerville. And I actually really loved, I used to use the Exfolicate, which is an exfoliating cleanser by Kate Somerville. And I really loved it. And I was just browsing through and I happened to see that she had a setting spray. So this is the Kate Somerville Makeup Setting Spray. It has an SPF of 50 in it. And it is the Soft Focus Makeup, it's Soft Focus Makeup Setting Spray, SPF of 50. What else does it say? That's all it said on here, but I just thought that was interesting because I had never seen anyone talk about this um, And maybe that was for good reason. I don't know, but I wanted to try it out It has like one of those things on the inside. So it's really like loud agitator On the inside, but yeah, that's what it's called. That's what it looks like. So we'll definitely try it out I'll keep y'all posted. Okay. I got another primer also. I have been super primer heavy lately. And so I picked up the Refi. This is the simplifying, no, this, that's their tagline. This is the Refi Clear Face Primer. It's a blur and hydrating primer. And the only reason I got a hydrating primer was because I do get some like little dry patches in the winter time. And so I probably could have waited on this, but I saw it and I was like, I'll just get it now. And so this is what she looks like. Refi has the most simple neutral packaging. I just absolutely love it. And I love that it has kind of the cooling tip on it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So I'm excited to try that. Let's get a little bit of it on the back of the hand. Let's see what it feels like here. So it comes out white. Definitely noticed a little hydration. I don't know if I necessarily noticed the blur, but yeah, as we get closer to that time, we will keep you guys posted, posted. I got a couple of brushes too. Um, I don't know. I was gonna say I'm in my brush era, but I'm in my everything era, y'all. So this is the Makeup by Mario F4. What's it actually called? Girl, why does I call it nothing? Okay, it's just the F4, but this is a complexion brush, which is why I got it. 
and I, I saw someone using this on TikTok and I heard this blush was or brush was really good for foundation and like cream products. So I picked it up. Not always the biggest fan of double sided brushes because they make it just makes life harder to store. But um, I heard really good things about this brush. Double sided brushes are also really good for travel, though. So, you know, it's like a catch 22. If you travel a lot, get you some double sided brushes. You can travel with them. You know, one brush is obviously two. Like, I feel like I'd use this for foundation and then this for concealer and then I travel and that's all I would need is this one brush so yeah and then I got the Danessa Myricks this is the yummy face 2.0 brush and this is another complexion complexion brush oh, it's so like velvety soft and just look at the pattern on it. Like, look at this. How cute is that? And then it sits. So you can like leave this on your vanity because then it sits in this little, am I putting this in right? No, there we go. It sits in this little holder, just like this. So it protects the brush and it just looks so cute. Like this is just so cute. And then it comes right on out and then it has like the grooves in there for your hand and you just, yeah. Yeah, we love that. All right, just a few more products, you guys. Um, nothing too fancy. I got another Refi brow pencil. This one's in the shade Dark. Um, I've shown you guys this a million times, so I'm not even going to open it yet because I have another one already open, but that's one of my favorite, favorite brow pencils, hands down. Um, I also picked up the brow pencil by Glossier, and this one is called Boy Brow Arch. Boy Brow Arch. Glossier Boy Brow was like everything back in the day, if you guys remember. And it's the like the brow gel. Um, this is an actual pencil. So this is a pencil plus pomade is what it's supposed to be. And we have a spoolie on one end, very common. And then the other side you have the pencil. And it is a super thin pencil, but it's in kind of this square diagonal shape but still very very thin and thin pencils are my jam um, I do not like a thicker brow pencil I just think it makes for bad looking eyebrows at least for me maybe I just don't know how to use them but this is right up my alley I got another gloss bomb stick by Fenty this one's in the shade I love my neutrals girl this one is in the shade spice cold so this one's a little deeper they all smell so good, but this one is just a tad bit like deeper. Yeah, see that? You could definitely see the difference between that one and the other two. So I think these will be really nice just to throw in your purse and be able to throw on without a lot of fuss. Like sometimes you have a lip product and you got a lip combo and it takes fuss, baby. You need a mirror. You got to line your lips good. You got to put on the right amount of product put on the right amount of gloss sometimes it's just a lot so having products like these to just throw in your purse and be able to be like okay my lips are dry let me get a little gloss and a little color all in one it's gonna take me four seconds these are I feel like that's what these are like the liquid lipsticks that Fenty has those aren't that this is like that oh it faded a little bit just throw a little bit more on and we good like that's what those gloss bomb sticks are for me at least um, oh, Laneige came out with this bouncy and firm lip treatment. First of all, it's huge, right? Like, look at the size of this. Look at the size of this thing. It is pretty large, but I think the best part about it is it has the little stick to come with it to scoop it out so you're not putting your fingers in there. And it has somewhere to put the stick so you don't lose it. Genius. This is product management at its finest. So my husband's a product manager. Like this is product management and product innovation at its finest. Like what do the users want? The users want somewhere to put the spatula so they don't keep losing it, okay? So <laughs> this is the Laneige Bouncy and Firm Lip Treatment. I don't think it has a flavor. I have not opened this yet. Oh, look at can you see that? Look at look how that opened. Huh. That's a lot of product in there though. A hell of a lot of product in there. We're gonna leave that closed for now. I'm not gonna try it right now, but there's yeah, you guys will see me talking about this soon. Alright, last two items. I got the Edom lip 
Lip Softening Balm. And this is in the shade Burnt. They have several different shades of this, but I don't know. This one kind of caught my eye. And this is a very large lip balm. I have not tried anything by Edom, but I've heard really good things. I've heard really good things about their skincare. Ooh, it has the cooling tip. Look at that. Oh, we love her. We love the cooling tips. Thicker balm. It's very, it's thick. It's thick, it's a little sticky, has a little color to it. Just a little tint, not a lot. This is one of those lip balms that are gonna stay on your lips. I can tell just from swatching it. It has the slightest, maybe fruity scent. Very, very slight. But this is one of those lip balms, yeah, they're gonna stay on your lips. Like you're gonna put it on and it's gonna be there in three hours after you've eaten, drank, everything. Like this, this, it, you can tell it has that stickiness to it. All right, last but not least, we got another lip balm. This is the Giorgio Armani Prisma Glass in Candy Halo. And I have not tried on any of these lip products because I wanted to try on this one. And I saved this for last. <laughs> This is what this looks like. These lip glosses are $38, okay? So they're very expensive. They're very, very expensive, okay? They're for the rich girls, which I am not, but that's why I only got one because we, we can't be buying all every color in a $38 lip gloss. So I want to try this, though. I need a mirror. A mirror. I need a mirror. Yes. All right, here we go. Let's try this on. I have on a little bit of that Milk Makeup lip gloss, but we're just gonna put it on top. Mmm. She cute though. I like this color pink. Get a little bit of a pink tint. Yeah. Okay. It feels good. Not super sticky. Feels, feels luxe. Feels Armani-ish. It feels pretty luxe, I'm not gonna lie. Looks just really smooth and yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, I get the hype. I get the hype, girl. I get the hype. All right, y'all, so that is it for this video, for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it was entertaining and helpful for you. If you wanna see any of these products in a more in-depth video, let me know which ones down below and I can definitely do a video, whether it be a YouTube short, Instagram reel, an extra YouTube video, whatever you guys wanna see, just let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support for your subscriptions, for your comments, for your likes, all of it. I love you, I appreciate you, and it does not go unnoticed. Thank you again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.